Hey everybody, I'm back y'all with another um how does what's going on with the um divine masculine and the karmic. So yes, let's jump into it. Let's see what's going on. Y'all want to be these videos. Here they go. So what's going on with the karmic and divine masculine? <laughs> yes look at this scene this is crazy we got great fortune lovers and poverty then we got privileged lady and main male this is masculine and karmic great for great fortune lovers and poverty come on now that's self-explanatory. That's self-explanatory. Somebody is uh is not is not karmic who is using masculine is masculine using karmic because she's privileged. She probably got a little bit of something. Probably got a good job. Okay, so We got courthouse right here. Uh, somebody could be married. Yeah, cause see, somebody got a concern. It's this privileged lady, this karmic. She got a concern. Her expect. Yes, look at this expectation of being married and having a house. This is her expectation. But masculine might be already married, and um, is probably working on getting a divorce. But she expected to be married and have a house. Okay. And dealing with this courtship and dealing with masculine. Okay. Yeah, she uh, she is pushing masculine to marry her. But masculine got some some business going on over here at the courthouse already. But she's concerned. This is her concern. She been taking care of masculine with gift and mature man right here. Masculine, we got mature men, false person, and children. Masculine might be over here playing stepdaddy to her kids if she got children. Message of concern again. Somebody may not be doing. Um, yes, yeah, see, I'm getting despair in courtship, like their relationship. Their, their relationship dynamic may not be um, doing too well at this time. I see lots of concerns. Okay, lots of concerns here. She definitely, masculine got something going on here with the courthouse that he needs to end. There needs to be some type of ending. See, I feel like for some, masculine need to get a divorce or masculine got some unfinished business here. Look, and he's steady taking the money. Thief and sudden wealth. He's steady over here taking the money. Mm. All right, let's see what else is going on. Show me what else was going on between Karmic and the masculine. They're spying on each other, going through each other's phones. We got sunglasses and love calls going through. She's going through masculine's call log to see who he is communicating with. She's looking to see if he's betraying her in some way, shape, or form. She's looking to see who he's been sleeping with if he's been sleeping with someone else is there somebody else that he's dealing with 
she is flat out addicted to masculine um but she's doing this she's behaving this way because she wants to be engaged she wants the ring she wants to get married okay so she's riding masculine's coattail for sure for sure going through his phone probably calling people that he's talking to in his phone the chaser yeah she's over here chasing masculine she's over here chasing we got healing heart photograph and karmic relationship now healing heart is healing from a heartbreak freedom from a toxic relationship or addiction then we got a photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia making new memories and karmic relationships so she could be looking at pictures of or um looking through masculine's phone looking at pictures that he could have saved in his phone um yes he got a bunch of them he got a bunch of them a bunch of them So this could be making karmic insecure. Show me what else. What else is going on between karmic and masculine? Um, masculine wants things to go back to how they were I feel like masculine wants to walk away from the karmic But masculine got to keep up this image of him being a changed man, okay? Because he knows he's being watched. Page of Swords in the Moon. He's being watched. So masculine is trying to keep up this image of him being a changed man. Like the goal is to make everyone believe that he's changed. But really, they over here is a lot of jealousy with the Moon and the Five of Swords right here. It's a lot of envy, a lot of uh, nitpicking, going back and forth, a lot of insecurities. I'm hearing something too many times. Okay. Masculine wants to leave, but he has to keep up this image of him being a changed man. There's that five of swords again. This is all mind games, um, manipulation. Look at this, the king of cups. The king of cups and the five of swords. Yeah, like, it's a lot of manipulation. And I feel like he does, he, he feels like he's going to miss out on something. Um, so that's what he's he's worried about. See, this relationship is supposed to be, it was supposed to either just be something mutual, like it was some type of agreement, or it was supposed to be temporary. Knight of Wands and a Two of Cups. But the thing about it is, masculine just digging a hole deeper and deeper for himself is ending up back backfiring on him. Masculine scared he gonna miss out on something. And he feels like maybe he'll end up regretting it. Um, yeah, I can see Five of Pentacles and a Page of Swords. I feel like he knows that he's being looked at. And for some reason, he just doesn't want... To, he feels like maybe he'll miss karmic or if he sees karmic 
What was the Ace of Wands here? Oh. Mm. Okay. Some sexual energy going on here. Masculine is using this relationship to get over his past. Karmic knows she is being cheated on. Mm. Masculine got some secrets. Plenty of them. But masculine keeps returning back to this relationship, even though this relationship is ten of wands energy. It's a burden. He don't want to be by himself. He don't want to be by himself, and he has an image that he is trying to uphold. So masculine got some some options that he has lingering around in the cut. Okay, other options that he could go to. But he feels like everybody watching him. So he feels like he's being watched. He feels like he's being watched. So he's holding on to karmic. He's holding on to karmic because he doesn't want to be by himself. Also, because he has the image to maintain. And he feels like he's going to miss out on something um, if he walks away. And he's using karmic to get over something from his past. Yep, a lover from the past. Yep. Now the wands, this lover could have blocked him. They had a pretty solid relationship. This could be you, feminine. Queen of Cups here. This is definitely divine feminine energy. He may feel like karma is it going to cheat back. Interesting, interesting. I want to see how. Now I'm going to use this. Let's see how. Um, what action or what masculine feeling about the design feeling. Well, divine masculine feels like you released him because you realized your worth. You vibrate too high for them. Your vibration is extremely high. They have not reached the level that you have reached. So they have released you or you've released them because you know your worth. They feel abandoned by you. And you're devoted. They feel like you're devoted to this new direction that you've taken. So they feel like you've released them because you know your self-worth. You know that what they had to offer was not good enough. They know that what they had to try to offer you was not good enough. All right, so that's the message that I got for y'all. If this message resonates, guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as comment below. All right, until next time.